So if you thought that getting in a relationship was going to be easy, <laughs> you sound like a fool. Listen, I'm about to tell you everything that I learned in all the relationships that I was in. Come on, let, let's talk about it. So first thing that's in this relationship that I need to teach you about real quick, understand this first and you will be happy. It's no longer you and them. It's, it's y'all, it's us, it's we. Start using that. It's no longer you, no longer me. It's a we thing, you feel me? For example, if you hungry, we're hungry. You gotta feed yourself and her. This is a we thing. It's no longer a you thing. If your friends invite you out, boy. <laughs> No, they invited y'all. Y'all come together. Y'all are one piece of the puzzle. You cannot go by yourself, huh? If they, if they invite her friends out, then she can go. Because if you don't let her go, then you are overprotective. You are insecure. You are an aggressive boyfriend. But if you want to hang out with your boys, she says no. There's nothing wrong with that. Does that make sense? No, that don't make sense. Second thing is that you have to be prepared to always be feeding this beast. Now I say beast with nothing but love. They are beautiful creatures, but they are beasts when they get hungry. Sometimes you can wake up out your sleep and they can wake up right next to you and be on full beast mode. Then how are you hungry already? We just opened up our eyes. What were you dreaming about? And then they never know exactly what they want. Now I ask you, I said, hey, what would you like to eat? And she says, uh -huh. What you want? You can't answer me with a question. I asked you because I really don't care what we eat. But then when I say I don't care, and then you say you don't care, I'm supposed to know that when you say you don't care, that doesn't mean that you actually don't care because you truly care. What that means is that you want me to pick something that I know that you gonna like and what you want right now without saying a word. Yeah, this is a trick. We've been hornswoggled and hoodwinked. So now I got to go think through my little Rolodex in the back of my head and try to figure out exactly what day it is, what time it is, and what you may like. You may have a girlfriend like me that don't like to eat breakfast at dinner. Now I think that's crazy because the best time to eat a pancake is when you about to go to sleep. That's what, that's, that's what I believe. So now me going five minutes into my head and thinking about all the things that you possibly could want, now you telling me that my choice is not what you want right now? I could have swore you said you don't care. This is time fooling, but that's not all. Another thing that you gotta figure out and understand when you get into this relationship is that your clothes is no longer your clothes, okay? Let me say that again. Your clothes is no longer your clothes. And wait, clothes, your personal belongings is no longer yours. Their stuff is their stuff, okay? Their stuff is theirs. Your stuff is ours. Cause if your shirt may be too small for you, right? She'll take it. If your shirt fits you, she'll take it. If a shirt is too big for you, she'll take it. And it'd be too big for her and it's a nighttime shirt. You see the pattern here? It doesn't matter what it is, she gonna take it. But if you take her clothes and you try to put them on, she gonna have a conundrum cause you are over here stretching out her shirts. But you did the same thing to my shirt. You just stretch it out, but you put it on. I want to put stuff on too. I want something on. You got that's a nice white t-shirt. I want to try it out. My shirts look beige now. You understand those things. It's y'all. You got to get food that she want, but she ain't gonna tell you that she want it. And your clothes is now her clothes. But then there's another thing. Now when the toilet seat up and the toilet seat down, that is a deal breaker for a lot of people. And I don't understand that. I think that whoever woke up first claimed dibs on the toilet for the rest of that day. Makes sense, right? If I woke up before you, I put the toilet seat up so I could pee. Then for the rest of the day, when you get done using the bathroom, you put the toilet seat back up. If you wake up before me, you put the toilet seat down to pee. Whenever I get done, I put the toilet seat back down. But we just can't automatically put the toilet seat down because what if I, I need it? I ain't trying to pee on the toilet seat, so I put it up to give me more space, you know, more more radius for me to hit the with the traditional force of the Penalytical uh, stream of things going on. I need that seat up. If I was president, that'd be one of the first things that I make happen. That I make as a, I make it a mandation for people to wake up first and claim dibs on their toilet because I'm, I'm utterly, I'm utterly exhausted with this topic. But don't forget, your title of boyfriend is not just a boyfriend, brother. You king. It's so much stuff that comes under that. You got a, you got the boyfriend's just a blanket. It's just as a blanket full of lies, so people on the outside can think that you happy. But under boyfriend, 
you got exterminator any type of bug that comes in this thing for some reason they don't know how to respond to it you are 23 times bigger than this bug but for some reason you run away and give me a shoe you just had the shoe in your hand kill it whatever so you are exterminator then you go from exterminator to, to pick a upper what is pick a upper you say well pick a upper means you literally just pick up stuff things that they could pick up on their own but you're supposed to pick it up but you're supposed to have endless amount of strength then you the trash take a router now it takes two of y'all to fill up this trash can but it's your job to take it out now you may have to get out at 10 36 a.m and it's 11 45 a.m and it's refilled i don't know how that keep happening in my household but it's only two of us in our trash can is filling every 10 minutes but I'm, it's my job to take this trash out oh and you want to know something else i just learned thanks to tiktok is that sometimes they will catch an attitude just to get attention from you i are you serious not only will they fake the attitude just get your attention they will do it just because they're bored y'all could be sitting right next to each other but she's bored so she will make something up in her head to make her mad at you just so you can have another hoop and hurdle to jump over to make sure she happy because you don't understand why out of nowhere you just got angry can you believe that a fake attitude makes no sense no sense whatsoever this is most definitely a, a trick this is I'm not even sure what marriage life looks like. Because every time, every time I see somebody get married, they look like they age like Obama did. This, this makes no sense. They come in, dark hair, happy. They leave out fat and gray. What happens in between this time, huh? But you know what? At the end of the day, I'd rather have all of this than be lonely. I ain't gonna boost to you. Cause I tried this single life. The single life ain't for me. That drama to deal with. You gotta make a schedule. Sometimes one may come over and then, then you forgot you told the other one that she can come over and now they over here together. And now you fought. So now you got two less girls than what you had before. Man, I ain't got time for none of that. None of that tomfoolery. I'd rather just stay where I'm at. Just, just, just suck it up. Just suck it up and play my role. So King, if you're about to get into a relationship, Watch all this stuff happen. I'm, I'm telling you for a reason, you better take some notes. And if you're already in a relationship and I miss some things that you go through, put them in the comments right now. Let's talk about it, it's a safe space, all right? So thank y'all for watching the video. I hope you learned something. Peace.